Uh, I thought this would be of interest to some people. Um, I have a part here that I, I need to make a measurement on, and um, um, there's um, uh, a better way to do it. Um, many people would have some, some calipers. Um, uh, the thing I'm interested in is the distance between this bottom of this hole and this, and this side here. So I could reach in with my uh, calipers and uh, one, 187, something like that, 0.187. Um, but there's a problem with that measurement. And um, if I can draw you a picture here. Um, if, you have a, if you have a hole and an edge and you reach in there with uh, calipers, your calipers take up some room. So the calipers may may sit on it like this. It's okay on this side because it's flat, but here you can see there's a little a little gap, uh, and so you're not making a you're not, not making a really good measurement. What you really want to have is um, you really want to reach right down right down there at the bottom. And uh, well, how how can you do that? Um, if your calipers were were round in shape, then that would work. If the ends of the calipers were round, I think you can actually buy calipers that have rounded rounded ends, um, and then that would work. Um, you would be tangent uh, to that circle and and here, so that would be that would be a good way to measure it. Um, there is a tool to do that though, um, so let me let me show you the tool that I have. Um, and um, it's it's based off of a micrometer, so this is a, a standard one inch uh, one inch micrometer. But again, it, it, it you can't really reach in here because it's big flat things, and it just it just it just wouldn't work. Um, so it's this, there's this cool caliper. Um, Should have looked up the name of these things before I made this video. Um, don't remember what these are called. Shoot. <laughs> <laughs> An oh, anvil, anvil micrometer. There we have called it. It's called an anvil micrometer. Um, so this micrometer is basically kind of the same as this one. Uh, this is the anvil part of the micrometer. This this end, um, and this one has replaceable anvils. So it does have an anvil, and uh, the micrometer does work the work the same way. You're you're zero when when you're on the anvil, um, but uh, this particular anvil is very uh, very thin, so it would be good if this was a slot. Then you could get this uh, micrometer into that slot, and that'd be uh, that'd be a nice thing to do. But um, there's this knob here, and and uh, this thing is a clamp. So if you loosen this up, then this piece goes out, and I'll show you that. But then this anvil is is removable and replaceable, and you could put different shapes in here. Um, so this. Um, this thing here is just a clamp. If I turn this knob, this thing just sucks in and, and, and can clamp things. Well, instead of clamping a flat thing, uh, we can clamp, we can clamp a, a, a little pin. Okay, so we have a nice precision pin. And uh, we can go ahead and, I need, I need three hands, uh, we can go ahead and clamp the rod in there now. And uh, it works the same way. Uh, you're still at uh, you're still at zero when you're on the anvil because the anvil references this top surface of the uh, of the micrometer. So no matter what you put in there, it'll be sucked up against this this flat thing here, which is zero the zero reference. So uh, so now that we have a round thing, uh, we can go ahead and make our measurement. So uh, we can stick uh, stick our pin in the hole and then come down on this. And measure. Oops, my pin's a little crooked. I didn't clamp it in correctly. There's a little V groove in the clamp, so it, it can hold round objects. There we go. So if I come in here and make a measurement, 75, 80, 187. Isn't that what I measured with the other one? So, <laughs> so maybe this isn't a great example. I get the same measurement either way. Uh, oh, I'm measuring the wrong thing. I'm sorry. Measuring. I wanted to measure this thing. Uh, yeah. So it's measuring. It's 
measuring 176. The other one was measuring one, I said one, I'm sorry, 186. It's measuring 186. And with these was measuring 187. So we were a micron or a thousandth of an inch different because of that little flat spot issue. Um, so these are, these are cool. These, uh, these anvil micrometers are cool. The other thing that you can do is you can put different size pins in here, larger pins, smaller pins, uh, depending on what you're measuring. Um, but you can actually um, take this clamp all the way out. Let me show you that. So if you take, oh, I dropped it on the floor. I get it. So this uh, clamping mechanism comes all the way out. There's a spring in there. Um, so let's see how that or see how that works. But now you have this flat, nice precision ground flat surface here. So now you can use it as a height gauge. So let's say we want to measure the step between that surface and this surface. Um, this makes sense, right? You're flat here. And uh, I'll try to hold that and then come down. And we're measuring 425. 45, 44, 444. I mean, uh, 0. 0.444. Um, so, um, yeah, they're nice little, nice little devices. They don't come cheap, but um, I found this one at a flea market, and I don't think the person really knew what it was, and got a good price on it. So, um, yeah. So anvil, anvil, anvil micrometer.